This is the Eye on Annapolis Daily News Brief, keeping you informed about the happenings in Annapolis and the area. Local news, local sports, local events, local opinion, and of course, local weather. The Eye on Annapolis Daily News Brief starts now. Good morning. It's Tuesday, December 3rd, 2019. This is John Frenet, and this is your Eye on Annapolis Daily News Brief. The Annapolis Police Department sent out a release yesterday morning about an incident that occurred last Wednesday morning, November 27th. Police were called to the 1400 block of Jousting Court for a disturbance. Apparently, there was a man who was causing damage to property in the neighborhood. The caller also reported that the suspect was naked. Officers arrived. They did find that the man had fled into a residence that he was not allowed to be in, and he had armed himself with a hammer and an axe. Now picture this, a naked man with a hammer and an axe keeping the police at bay. Finally, they persuaded him to exit the home unharmed. They placed him under arrest. And right now, Tremar Galloway, 41 of Annapolis, is charged with fourth-degree burglary, trespassing, and malicious destruction of property. He is being held at the Jennifer Road Detention Facility without bond. I don't know, this might indicate that Prince George County Public Schools may have a problem on their hand. For the second time in about two months, a high school teacher has been arrested for sexual abuse of a minor and for having a sexual relationship with a student. And this time it was Kay Sean Donovan of Upper Marlboro, Maryland, who is a science teacher at Bowie High School. According to police, the student reported to a family member that she was in a relationship with Donovan. The family member did report it to the police. He was arrested yesterday and is being held until a preliminary hearing on January 3rd. Allegedly, Donovan and the student had sexual contact on school grounds multiple times dating back to May of 2019. If you'll remember back in October, there was a Prince George's County male high school teacher and volleyball coach who was accused of very similar things, and he was from Annapolis. Last night, the Anne Arundel County Council voted to elect Councilwoman Allison Picard from Glen Burnie as the new chairman. Councilman Andrew Prusky, who was the chairman, stepped down, and he came to the end of his one-year chairmanship term. Sarah Lacey of Jessup was elected the vice chair. Now, last year, Prusky was selected chair last December because he was the only council member who retained his seat in the election, therefore being the only one with any experience in being on the council. And a lot of people are making a big deal about Alison Picard being the first woman in more than a decade. Well, when you consider that there hasn't been a woman elected to the council in the previous two terms, it's not so much of a surprise that a woman hasn't been selected as chairman. So I think rather than focusing on gender, let's focus on competence. Hey, an update on some business news. Nuke's Eatery, which was right across from Union Jack's and Giolitti's Delicatessen, they have closed their doors. Very strangely, yesterday afternoon in a Facebook post, they just said to our valued Nuke's guest, we would like to inform you that our Annapolis Nuke's Eatery location will be closing its doors effective immediately. We thank you for your business and support. Vendors and guests can contact us by leaving a message at, they left a phone number. We will respond as quickly as possible. However, they deleted their Facebook page shortly after that, so that number was not available on Facebook. So not sure what it is with the restaurants in town, but boy, that's three of them that are just upping and closing very quickly without much notice. Nukes, a couple weeks ago, you had Chewy's that pulled out of the Festival Riva. Subway there in the Festival Riva also closed down. And I just learned yesterday that Main Cottage, which had a place on West Street, closed after only nine months. I guess they're going back to their warehouse on Defense Highway. Tough time to be a business owner in Annapolis. Maryland's Governor Larry Hogan and First Lady Yumi Hogan have invited all Marylanders to their house this weekend. It is the annual holiday open house at Government House, which is the governor's mansion. Gets underway on Saturday from 1 p.m. till 4 p.m. And again, it is free of charge and the general public is welcome. There are no reservations required. You can park your car in the Bladen Street garage, which does not charge. And they are asking for people to bring unwrapped toys that will be donated to those in need on behalf of Toys for Tots. You can see the decorations in Government House. They'll have plenty of food. They'll have holiday cookies, brownies, dessert bars prepared by the Government House chefs. They'll have hot wassail. And I'm still not sure what wassail is, but they're going to have it and it's going to be hot. Available for guests waiting in line outside of the house. Live music is going to be provided by different Maryland high school groups with a different performance each hour. And when you're in there, you can actually purchase the official holiday ornament, which has been designed by the First Lady. And the proceeds from that do go to the Foundation for the Preservation of Government House, which is a nonprofit organization which helps to make sure that the historical significance of the mansion stays in place. 
All right, that is it for the top news today. Please make sure you're checking out ionanapolis.net throughout the day because we do update it throughout the day. If you are someplace where you can give us a rating or a review, please do that. And let all your friends and family and colleagues know about us. That's the way we grow, and that would be a very nice Christmas present to us. Other than that, hang tight. I've got George Young with your local DMV weather forecast, and he's coming up in just one minute. Here's to the teacher who spends her weekend helping children who need a little extra attention. To the soldier who missed the birth of his baby while serving overseas. To the EMT working full-time and taking night classes. To the police officers and firefighters working long hours away from their families to keep our families safe. Here's to you, our hometown heroes. I'm Alan Hyatt, Chairman and President of Severn Bank, and we know there are many heroes among us. Men and women who serve without expecting anything in return which is why we're honored to offer our Hometown Heroes program to educators, law enforcement officers, firefighters, first responders, health care workers, and military personnel. Whether you're opening a checking account or buying a new home, we're here to give back to you. Learn more about our Hometown Heroes program at SeverinBank.com. Severn Bank, here with you. Member FDIC, equal housing lender. Going out? You need the most up-to-date local weather. Here's George Young from DMV Weather in Annapolis with today's forecast. Hey everyone, this is George with DMV Weather and this is your Eye on Annapolis forecast for Tuesday, December 3rd. Yesterday was another cold and wet day across the Annapolis region, but skies should clear today as a storm system in the Atlantic pulls away to the north-northeast, helping to bring plenty of sunshine back to the skies above Anne Arundel County. Though temps will still be chilly with highs 45 to 50 degrees and breezy winds gusting over 20 miles per hour at times. More sunshine is expected much of the rest of the week through the weekend with temps staying in the 45 to 52 degree range all the way through Sunday with one exception being Saturday as highs might only be 40 to 45 degrees after a reinforcing cold front moves through the area from the west. Okay, that's it for today. This is George Young of DMV Weather. Make it a great day out there, and be sure to get our free app on all of your devices by searching for DCMDVA Weather in the Apple or Google App Stores, and also follow us on Facebook and Twitter and on our website at dmvweather.com so you can always stay weather informed. When a ring from the United States Naval Academy comes into Zachary's for a center stone, it always makes us wonder, where's this one going? Where's this one been? A nuclear sub in the North Atlantic? A carrier deck in the South Pacific? The moon? 52 astronauts are Academy graduates. From Iwo Jima to Okinawa. Corregidor to the Coral Sea. Midway to the Persian Gulf. Congress to the White House. These rings go where America goes. 73 that went to war were awarded the Medal of Honor. But wherever they go, Wherever they may serve, our admiration goes with them. Zachary's. Online at Zachary'sJewelers.com. More than a jewelry store, a jeweler. You've been listening to the Eye on Annapolis Daily News Brief. Tell your friends and colleagues this is the podcast where you can keep up on the latest with what's going on in Annapolis. And also tell them about our website, ionanapolis.net, where you can find even more information. This podcast comes to you every Monday through Friday at 7 a.m., keeping you informed with the Eye on Annapolis Daily News Brief. And take a moment to listen to our other podcast, The Maryland Crabs, released every Thursday at noon.